This is regular bee honey versus super expensive stingless bee honey. I am holding an expensive delicacy. Honey made by stingless bees. A tiny jar of this stuff cost me $24. In comparison, here is regular honeybee honey made by Apis mellifera, the typical honeybee that we know. A jar of this costs about $7 and it's 450 milliliters. This is just 100 milliliters and it cost me $24. So that means if I filled this jar with this kind of honey, it would cost about $108 per jar. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to taste and review this expensive delicacy. Honey that wasn't made by honeybees. It was made by the Jatai, Melipona. So today we're going to take a look. But first I'm going to show you the bees that made this honey in Brazil. Let's travel there. Forget about honeybees. Today I have something cool to show you down there. Let's make a close up. This is a stingless rainforest bee. Tetragonisca angustilla is a small eusocial stingless bee found in Central and South America. Because it is a native species in the Neotropics and therefore an important pollinator agent and because it lacks a sting, being thus harmless to humans and domestic animals, the Jatai bee is an attractive species for domestication. As the hives are small and harmless, they can also be used as effective pollinators of some plants such as strawberries inside greenhouses. Considered of high quality, the honey produced by Jatai bees is much more expensive than that of common honey bees. In some places the price of Jatai honey may be as much as 10 times the price of honey produced by common honey bees. Clearly, it is considered an expensive delicacy. Many countries have special items for gastronomy. Italy has a white truffle and Brazil has honey from its native bees. Here. Standing guards are on the wax entrance tube and hovering guards face the flight corridor leading to the entrance. Foragers returning with pollen loads and waste removing bees can also be seen if you look closely. Jatai bees, especially in South America, are more beneficial than the introduced and perhaps even invasive honeybee Apis mellifera. Their honey is said to have different properties as well. As well, have a very distinct smell and taste and today I am going to try some. This is an expensive delicacy, stingless bee honey. Wow, it is made by a bee named the Jatai and it's totally different from the honeybee. And today I am going to make a comparison between the taste and properties of these two kinds of honey. Let's get started, this is exciting. Before we start, the first thing that we are going to do is we are just going to have a look at the stuff. Let's take off the lid and make some observations here. here go. Hmm. So I do notice some differences in the color and consistency. One thing that we notice is that the stingless bee honey compared to the regular bee honey is much more watery. Can you see it? 
So this is our Jatai or stingless bee honey. This is the expensive honey and as you can see when I swirl it around it's almost like water. Can you see it? Let's see if we notice the consistency with a spoon. This is regular bee honey versus super expensive stingless bee honey. Ah, can you see the difference? See what's happening? The honey bee honey is very viscous and very thick. But the stingless bee honey is almost like water. Can you see it? It's totally different actually. So we already noticed this honey has totally different properties. Can you see? Like the honey bee honey, the cheap honey. See? It's very different. One of them is still dripping out. This stuff, this stuff is more like more like syrup or something. Can you see it? Very unique. I haven't even started yet and already we notice massive differences. So before we taste it, I'm going to check out the smell. This is regular honeybee honey. This is our expensive stingless bee honey. Let's see. So, the smell of honey is very strange. It is, I don't know, it is, it is less sweet than you expect. Like, honeybee honey almost has this weird, musky, salty smell to it. If you don't believe me, then smell honey. Honey tastes better than it smells. It has this weird, musky, sweet aroma. But it, it doesn't smell delicious. It tastes delicious, but it doesn't smell delicious. Some typical musky, sweetish, strange odor. Let's see how this one smells. Hmm. This one, it smells similar, but the odor is more stronger. It's more pungent, more sweet. Anyway, now it's time for the real thing. I think we have to do the taste test. Anyway, let's be honest, honey kind of has a barnyard odor. It's not pleasant. We've been all waiting for the taste test and that's what I'm going to do now. So first we start with the regular cheap honey bee honey, just to make a fair comparison before we try the special expensive honey. Great, I dropped my spoon in it, now my hands are going to be all sticky. So, let's get started. Regular honey bee honey, let's go. From the supermarket. Mm. It's overpoweringly sweet. Now, it's no secret that honey is extremely sweet. The sugar content in this stuff is very high. It's very thick and viscous. But at the same time, when it enters your mouth, it just disappears. It just kind of melts, you know? That's the fun thing about honey. It's, so it's, it's thick. It's sweet. It's almost solid. But when, once it enters your mouth, it just disappears. I'm getting a hint of an almost caramelly, but also almost fruity, flowery flavor. It's faint. It mostly just tastes like sugar with a hint of, with a tiny hint of floral, a little bit of a floral and caramel-like flavor. It's very typical of honey. Now most of you have eaten this stuff before. You know what honey tastes like, right? But just, I need to compare both. So, I'm remembering the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet. So Honey is so sweet that I'm not even sure if I like eating it pure. Sometimes it's too sweet for me. I like it in yogurt, I like mixing it with stuff. You can mix it with a lot of stuff, even with beer or whatever you want, but yeah, it's overpoweringly. It's a very strong, strong sweet flavor, 
with a very faint undertones of caramel, flourish accents. Hmm. Okay, now we wait for the flavor to disappear. And then I'm going to try our special stingless bee rainforest honey. I'm very excited. Now guys, something being expensive doesn't mean it's always better or better quality. So just, just because this is 10 times more expensive and probably something only rich people can eat in a big amount, doesn't mean it's going to be more tasty, but it could be, who knows. I'm going to stir it a bit. And now for the moment of truth, stingless bee honey. Wow. I was not expecting this. This is really odd. It, wow. It, re it doesn't taste like, it doesn't taste much like honey bee honey at all. A little bit, but like, this is so strange. Let me think of how to describe it. Wow. It's, it's a little bit sour, but in a good way. It's strange. I swear it's, it has like these sour accents. Wow. It also, it's very, it's sweet, but it tastes less sweet than the honey bee honey actually. And I think I like that. I, I, like I just said, honey bee honey is a bit too sweet for me sometimes. But the undertones are much stronger in this honey. And I'm getting, I'm even getting what, what's, what tastes like some saltiness and sourness. Wow, that's really really different actually it's totally totally different so one thing i noticed with stingless bee honey is it has a lot of flavors combined <clears throat> while the the honey bee honey it doesn't have that much flavor it's mostly just sweet with some undertones but the undertones are more like the upper tones in this honey it's like so many things to analyze, it's so strange, it's tickling my brain in a very... I haven't tasted something like this before. Ah, ah, it's so weird. I'm getting, like it's, I'm also getting like a, a nutty, a nutty flavor. Something that almost is similar to walnuts. Like a nutty, salty, sourish, fruity, but also less sweet than the honey bee honey flavor. It's good though. It's definitely good. Wow. Wow. It's so strange. It's hard for my brain to process. I never taste something like this. It's... It tastes much different than I expected. So, how do these two kind of honey compare in my opinion? Well, I think I like both of them almost equally. Which for you guys is maybe a disappointing opinion. Because maybe you expected me to choose a side and say this one is better or this one is better. And if one of them was better than the other, I would have said it. But I feel like it's a draw. Both of them have qualities I like. And one of them, both of them have qualities I like less. I think I like the stingless bee honey a little bit more than the honey bee honey. That's because the stingless bee honey is less sweet. And honey bee honey, sometimes it just... It's, it just feels like you're eating a spoonful of sugar sometimes. It's really overpowering. And I don't get that feeling if I'm eating the stingless bee honey. 
But the stingless bee honey, it has um, actually really strong flavors. Like it has, um, it really has its own personality. Honey bee honey is more bland. It's just more sugar-ish with a little bit of undertones. And this stuff, it just has a lot more noticeable flavors. I wouldn't use them for the same thing. Like if you end up making uh, baking a cake with honey or anything that you're cooking, a recipe with honey, yogurt with honey, anything with honey in it, using this stuff will have a totally different result than this stuff, I think. But I think I like both of them almost equally. They're kind of equal. Maybe this one is, is slightly more tasty, I think, but it's just so different. It's hard to place it in my head because it's just, um, I guess it's just a totally new flavor to me. This is not something I experienced before. Very fascinating. So here you go. Honey from the rainforest in Brazil made by endemic stingless bees. Fascinating. I hope you guys enjoyed my honest review of these products. Now this I got from a website, it's called Don Ferro. There you go. And if you want to support bee farmers who farm native bees instead of invasive honeybees, it could be a good idea to try this for yourself and have a new experience. There's actually a lot of kinds of honey in the world that you've never heard of. People think of honey as this singular thing that's always the same, but it's not. There's actually some almost forgotten bee species that also produce honey with totally unique properties. It's like a totally new flavor, a totally new experience. Last but not least, I think it's worth supporting native bee farming over farming non-native bees. I do have to say the only downside is the price. This stuff is, is, is almost as expensive as gold, right? Like, eh, you, you have to be kind of rich to put this on your toast every day, right? Like this is $24 for 100 milliliters. Yes. So a decent jar of this stuff is at least $100. And uh, I guess that's a real downside here. That's because these tiny bees just have a harder time producing the same quantity and volume of honey. It takes them a longer time to produce a small amount and you need more time, more patience and makes it more expensive. But yeah, stingless bee honey review, let's go. Last but not least, before we end the video, my YouTube channel is entirely demonetized by YouTube. When I upload a video, I make zero dollars from it. If you like my channel, if you like my videos, if you like my content, consider donating to my channel, becoming a member on Patreon, my crowdfunding platform. And this is what helps me afford expensive stuff like this to make videos. Without any donations or crowdfunding, I would not be making this video. Sorry for the internet bagging, but it's essential to the survival of my channel. Of course, no one is obliged to. This is only for those who are willing and able. And of course, not donating does not make you less of a viewer. Everyone is welcome here to learn about insects and nature. Hope to see you in the next episode. This was Bart Coppens with Jatai Bee Honey. Ciao.